welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display interstitial ad inside your flutter app uh, without any third party library using google ad mob so here you can see that i have this ios simulator and i have one button once i click on this particular button it displays an interstitial ad now this is a test ad uh, but i will show you later on how to create production ad as well and it is very simple and also one more thing you need to notice is that for one app session you can only display one interstitial ad like if i click on this button again you won't see that ad it is possible to show multiple interstitial ad uh, uh, for the same app session uh, but uh, that is out of the scope like it is i think it is very simple uh, but the main uh, point is to show an interstitial ad so let's get started and the same uh, output is for android as well that's why i'm not showing it for android so uh, create a flutter project and here i have uh, refactored my home page widget uh, to take a method channel and inside that i have taken a scaffold safe area as well as a column and inside column i have taken a text button and once the text button is clicked i am calling this invoke method to call this show add method now we have to use the same method channel identifier on the native side as well as the same method name over here on the native side as well okay so once this is done uh, what you will have to do is uh, I will just go to the documentation so firstly you need to add this dependency so for so this is for Android just go to the Android folder go to app build.gradle and here you can see that I have added this dependency also I have updated the Kotlin version to use 1.8.20 okay next what you have to do is you have to add this metadata tag and here they have given one test app app id so which i will use it later on you will have to replace it with production id and i will show you that as well so here you can see i'm using a, i have added this metadata tag as well next what they are saying is you have to initialize our, your google ads as well so go to ja, go to kotlin sorry main activity dot kt and here i have overridden this on create method inside that i am initializing this mobile ads dot mobile ads dot initialize this okay and also i have overridden this configure flutter engine okay and here i have created our method channel with the same identifier with the same method name so when th once this method is called i am showing our interstitial ad now if you go i will just select implement in interstitial ads and here you can see they are asking us to create so i will go to kotlin version so here they are asking us to create an interstitial ad and request it and create an ad request and then load again this is a test unit so we'll be using that later on you will have to replace it with a production unit so here you can see i have created an interstitial ad i'm creating an ad request for it and i'm loading it okay next uh, we have to create some callbacks as well so if you are interested on whether an ad has been clicked ad has been dismissed so here you can click create all these callbacks so i have created those callbacks as well so which you can see over here and now to display it you can use something like this so inside the method call i'm using it something like this okay uh, next for uh, so yeah that's it for android now for uh, ios just go to the uh, ios directory so firstly if you have noticed that uh, latest flutter project does not come with this come with this pod file and uh, i think i should have used swift package manager because this library is available as swift package manager but if you try to use third party dependencies then this pod file is created so i am a little confused so what i did was uh, inside my pubspec.yml i have just added this url launcher dependency and it, it cre automatically created a pod file for me now uh, inside that pod file i added this pod google mobiles add sdk dependency once you add this you have to open your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run pod install so this will install uh, the dependency for google mobile ads sdk once uh, that is done okay so what you'll have to do is so we have already done with this so next you have to add this dash obgc i think this is already present inside flutter projects as well so go to runner go to runner over other linker flags and you have to add this dash obgc it is already present if it's not then you should add it then inside info.plist you at least need to add this there is a lot of things and make sure you close this array as well so if you see my google info.plist 
so i've added this again this is a test id which you have to replace and this scr networks this id refers to google now there are other uh, you see network identifiers as well so if you go to this third party buyer you can uh, map it to which identifier it refers to if you want to use other identifiers you can use that but i have kept it the google one so which is the first one if you see over here this one belongs to google. Uh, next we have to initialize so i'm using swift we have to initialize our google ads so go to app delegate and here you can see i have imported mo google mobile ads and i have also added this uh, added this so uh, this will help us to initialize our google ads and next i will select interstitial and here you can see that i have just created variable for this so if you see i have created a variable for this next uh, we are loading our interstitial ad again this is test ad unit so here you can see i have uh, in uh, like implemented our interstitial ad as well next uh, over here uh, so we have to implement this gad full screen content delegate which and add this bit of code which help us to override a bunch of callbacks as well so here you can see i have added this then i have overridden this as well and here i have added our controller as well as this is our method channel and uh, once the show add method is called we are just displaying the interstitial ad so if you see over here they are doing the same thing we just have to add controller over here because that is our flutter view controller so yeah so to get the production ad units for your android app what you will have to do is that you will have to go to google ad mob you will have to sign up and then you will have to click on apps uh, add an app uh, now i will add it for android uh, now uh, did this depends on you whether your app is already deployed to play store or not so i will just select no i will click on continue here i can give uh, my app some name so i will just give it as first app okay next i will click on uh, add app and here you can see so you will have to create add units as well as test in hdk integration uh, firstly one thing which i want to tell you tell to you guys is that once you have deployed your app to play store you will have to link your app back again uh, inside add mob so uh, there my so there will be an option to link your ad once it is deployed to play store but here i don't have any production app so uh, i will just wait for it uh, so I, I won't uh, sorry link it and also it requires a review so once you have created an ad uh, like an app inside ad mob you might have to wait for some period of time it won't be available to you immediately interstitial ad as well just click on add unit select give some name so i will just say first only if i can type in first app interstitial and i will just click on create add unit and here again you will have to copy this for your interstitial ad uh, so yeah uh, that's it for android but do make sure uh, you are properly linking your app uh, once you have uh, deployed it to uh, google play store as well as to the app store so i think uh, there might be some option like i'm not really sure where Add units maybe in app settings i guess so here you can see app store details so if i click on add here you will have to search your app by your uh, url or package name and then you can link your uh, app with your uh, app with your uh, like google play store app with your this uh, app which you have created on AdMob. so yeah that's it for android which we have to do is we have to link your our ios app uh, to AdMob. so what you will have to do is you will have to go to google AdMob and then again search for apps you here you can click on add app uh, platform ios is the app listed on play store so depending on so my app is not listed so i will just click on no click continue i'll just give my app some name ios first okay and here i will click on add app then uh, what you will have to do is uh, so this uh, once you create your app it takes some time to review so uh, once you create add unit from this google ad mob it won't be immediately available for your ios app it will take some time uh, so yeah be uh, have some patience and uh, 
come back to uh, this google ad mob after a few days and replace this with your code i also show you how to add interstitial ads so just click on select I'll just name this as interstitial okay i'll cre create ad unit and here you can see these are being generated like the app id as well as the ad unit id for interstitial so done so next if you want to link your app just go to app settings and here you can click on add and here you can search your app uh, by name developer name or store id or app url uh, so and that's how you can link your uh, this app which you have created on AdMob to your uh, app store app so yeah that's it for ios